kaadlaw uman mo'y mugso ang atong ginawin si Kristo. Sa ngalan samahan sa anak ug si Espiritu Santo. Amen. Ang grasya sa atong ginawin si Kristo, ug ang gugma sa Dios ug ang panagiusa sa si Espiritu Santo, manaa kaninyong tanan. Manaa usab kanimo. Mga igsuot sa dila palihog ug ani sa tubangan alang niining pag uh, panalangin ini ug pagbindisyon ini. Please come forward. Mga hinigong may ibsun, milabay na ang kapatan kaadlaw sa tumalipayang pagsaulog sa Pasko sa pagkatao sa itong ginoo. Karoon mo katumbalaan nga adlaw kanun sa Asisus Gihalad dito sa templo ang nagpakita apan sa tinuray ni Ining Hitabua nakigtagbo siya sa iyang katawahan diya nga kadtong mga tigulang inigda sa Espiritu Santo mi ato dito na ilan nila ang gino o gisang niya o siya nila nga puno sa kalipay kinagis si Espiritu Santo sa balay sa gino aron pagtagbo kang Kristo Hipalga na ito siya o hiilan niya sa pagpika sa ito sa pan. Hangton ng mga siya pag-usab sa iyang mahimayaong pagpakita. Pag-ampo kita. O Diyos, tinugdan, o sinugdan sa tanang kahayag karong alawa. Imong ipakita kang simyon, ang matarong nga kahayag nga magpadayag sa dalan alang sa mga dili o deyo. Santo sa amahan, kining mga kandila. Lungan sa pagdawat sa mga pag-ampo sa si imong katawan nga nagkatigom aron pagbitbit ni ini makandila alang sa pagdaig sa si imong mga ni ini nga sa paglakaw namo subay sa dalan sa mga maayong buhat makadangat kami sa kahayag nga wala na ipagkapalong kini among gipangayo pinaagi ni Kristo nga among ginuo Amen Glory to God in the highest.
Just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of prophet Malachi. The Lord God said, Lord, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh 
Likewise, had a full share in this, that by his death he might rob the devil, the prince of his power, and free those who thought fear of death had been them. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God on their behalf, to expiate the sins of the people. Since he was himself tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are tempted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to all honor the Holy Gospel. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, According to the law of Moses, Mary and Jesus took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen 
the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought into the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he too came into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all peoples, light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many Israel, and to be a sign that will be con contradicted, and you yourself, as word, will be, will be pierced, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess Anna, the daughter of Hanuel of the tribe of Azer. She, wa she was advanced in years, having lived seven, seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer, and coming forward at the time, at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When he had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom. And the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, good morning to everyone. Good morning. And good morning also to your seatmate. I really don't know, my dear brothers, if my brothers and sister, sisters, if my language I'm going to use to you this morning would sound with colors because I seldom preside mass in English. Talagsarag yung ko mag in English. Nga, pagtanaw na ko sa inyong mga naong mga bisaya, mga po di ay ni. Okay ra ninyo, sa gulong lang na to. <laughs> okay ra? Okay ra? So mga igson, what do you usually feel when somebody, your close friend or somebody who is be considered as your best friend will come into your life and then will give you something or ano bang tao ba nga imong gika para ba gika hingang hanga mamit o siya kasagaran na tong mabati o mapil nga ma, 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 mahimamat na nila o mahimamat na to sila what do you usually feel? of course the obvious answer for that is we are so very grateful and happy for, for their presence and I think this is also uh, relates to the story in the family. What makes a family family? It's not because my mother and my mother gives me so much, a lot of things that I need every day, but simply because of the presence of this person. When our parents will not be around, ang mga ginikana, ang mga anak na nabilin, they yud kaagwantang, wala ilang mama papa. Kay naagyud ang kahingang nga, gumikan silang presensya nga naghatag kanunay nila og kaupayan o kinapuhi. Kanabitang ginikanan ng mga anak nila na layo, bigit sila kagwantang ilang anak malayo. Tungod kay ang ilang anak subraan kay kapinangga o ang ilang anak mismo naghatag o kabibo sa panimalay. I'd like to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, this is also what had happened to Simeon and Anna. They were so very ignited with the light and happiness when they encountered the Lord the baby Jesus Christ. Niya, let us also remember this too. Kining kining atong kuan karon mga igsoon, kining atong kasaulugan karon. Momani ang presentation of the Lord. Nako kayong kapistahan sa tong simbahan. Ang presentation of the Lord that commemorates the two important Jewish practices. Nga kinanglan usab nato nga masabtan ug nganong why we celebrate this uh, feast. Una, mga igson, first, the feast is actually the a feast is about the purification of the mother after childbirth. According to Leviticus 
chapter 12, verse 2 to 8, women should be purified after 40 days. Muni ang kultura sa mga hudiyo. Man kuno mga nag ang babae, sulod si Korinta Kaadlaw, sila pagalimpiuhan. And the second one is, uh, one of the practices for the Jews, especially during this time, is they would like to present their first born child to God. As explained in Exodus chapter 13, verse 2, that every firstborn child meal belongs to God. This celebration actually, my dear brothers and sisters, already started in 450 AD. And it was actually termed, this feast was named as Feast of an Encounter. Pakighinagbo, pista sa pakighinagbo o pakigtagbo. There was this procession of candles Ang, ang kandila ng gipanalanginan, ilan yung iposisyon, mauna yung nga, this uh, celebration also is called in Spanish term as candelaria. Nabay candelaria ninyo dire nga, ginganlan? Ginganlan candelaria? Na ha? Nay candelario? Ginganlan sila candelaria, candelario kay ining adlaw, maupo di lahang adlaw na tauhan. And of course, my, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, this celebration developed in the, in the Catholic Church and throughout the liturgy. It was in 1969 that this feast was termed as the solemnity of the presentation of the Lord. And our reflection this Sunday, my dear brothers and sisters, will dwell on the encounter of Simeon and Anna in the temple. Sila mahinang pun kayo na nagpaabot sa ginoo. Adunay kahingawa, adunay eagerness of encountering the Lord. Simeon actually, according to him, hangtod kamatayon ang iyang paghulat sa Diyos. Until that, he's waiting for the Lord. And Anna, he was doing fasting and prayer night and day just to wait for the Lord. And you know, and you know, my brethren, what had happened to them? Wala ang ang ilabitang ang pagsapnay ni Simeon sa batang Jesus, o ang pagkakita ni Ana sa batang Jesus. Wala lamang kini naghatag o kahupayan nila, apan naghatag usab kini pagkausab sa ilang kinabuhi. Muni taku kay natong pangutana karon. This is our big question as our reflection. Kumusta man ang atong pagiginamamat o pagiginagbo sa ginoo? Kumusta man? Nahimamat ba nato ang ginoo? Nabatay kahingang ha or eagerness to see the Lord? Are you okay there? Are you already sleeping? I would like you to look at your seatmate. Tanawa palihog inyong tapad. Paminaw ninyo. Kinsa may inyong nakita. Ang ginoo, abi ninyo mga gison, I'd like to tell you, in Genesis 1, chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 26, God created man in His likeness and image. In other words, the presence of each one of us is also the presence of the living God. Kay matod pa sa itong ginoong Isa Kristo, whatsoever you do to the lives of my brothers and sisters, you do it unto me. Satu pa ay, Jesus Christ, in a strict sense. Dili siya makita nato in a strict sense. But we can see Christ, especially when we love the poor, the lost, the last, and the least. Naabatay time, mga igsoon, nga mahinagbo na to itong ginoo sa mga kabus, sa mga taong gigutom, mga sinalikway sa itong katilingban. Subok kayong pamalandungon karon. Many people today, lisod kayo ang pakiginagbo sa ginoo. Just like Simeon and Anna. Nga nagpaabot sila. Dili sila buot mamatay. Hanto dili nila makit ang ginoo. Kita mga tao karon. It's so very hard for us to encounter the Lord. Why? Because every day, our encounter focuses on the signal. So much signal of the Wi-Fi. We focus on what we've seen in the internet and what the world is offering to us. 
kita karon mas taas patag tayo nga makighinagbo sa uyab kaysa ginoo. Mas taas kay tag time sa pakighinagbo sa mga salida, mga teleserye, o pakighinagbo sa unsay uso nga naa sa mga shopping mall kaysa atong ginoong Iso Kristo nga gipadayag sa mga taong kabos, mga gibiyaan, o mga gibiay-biay. I'd like to tell you, many young people today do not uh, wake up early in the morning because at night, Bilar kayo o dula sa Mobile Legends. Bilar kayo o scan-scan sa Facebook just to update their status of how many likes and comments they receive from the internet. And this is now the problem. How are we going to encounter the Lord? Well, in fact, we don't have time to encounter the people around us, which is the living presence of God. Ang mga batan on karon. Mga ginikanan, wag mo kabantay. Basta ganin na isilpo ng atong mga anak. Ako, mutambag na lang yung kuninyo. Kuhain na lang nagsilpo. Kaya kining atong mga anak, ginikanan really pa ito na ni. Ngutik si ima, naghimo mig project. Panaara ko sa eskulahan, tuo di ay, nakiginagbo silang uyab. Nguwa na, wala nila gitugan na ito. Di ba na yun na, tinuod? Magkitanay rana sila dito sa boulevard. Magkitanay rana dito sila dito sa kuta. Sa GD. Sa Gaisano. Pagkitanay rana, wak mo gandahong mga ginikanan. Ang atong mga anak, kita rin ibinuangan. And above all, why the young people are doing this one, this kind of encounter? Simply because they have lack of time in the family. Nga nung atong mga anak karoon nag-iabuyab, tungkol kayo walay time si mama si papa sa ilang mga anak diha sa pagpangumusta. May maning uyab kay maayo maning mo hapuhap. Di mani pariha sa grade 1 nga binuldi og agi, grade 2 naman ni maayo naman ni mo pinakatay. Inaghikap ani sa inyong mga anak, diha magsugod ang pagkatabla sa ilang kaugmaon. Natulog na mo? And this is actually our reflection for today. And how am I going to encounter the Lord if most of the time I give my time to the world? O bitaw ni Hinungdan, na sa ito, abitaw ang pagkuyo sa matag-adlaw, kinanglin, inanig yung kugnaw, kimo man, itong nakita sa internet, kinanglin, inanig yung kabawag akong kilay, inanig yung kulor akong buhok, inanig yung kapula akong ngabil. Why? Simply because we would like to compete to the world. We would like to compete the beauties in the society. But the question there, are you beautiful? The only way that we can be beautiful is we know how to love. We know to humble ourselves. We know how to serve. We know how to extend our life just to give goodness to the others. Amen. I would like also to uh, give this reflection to you. This example of Joseph and Mary. The the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines also declared that this day is also Pro-Life Sunday. Pro, mga Pro-Life ba mo? Pro-Life pro, pro ba tayo? Paliyog ko na kong pik-pik sa inyong tapan. Pro-Life ka ba? Uy, okay na mo niya, uy. <laughs> mga Edson, what makes us Pro-Life? We become Pro-Life because we do the will of God. And this is the example of Joseph and Mary did in the present. They cannot actually, if we are going to analyze, dili naman sila kinanglan pa mo perform sa mga Jewish practices. Because Jesus Christ is already the Lord. And at the same time, Jesus Christ is not coming from the tribe of Levites, or, or, of Levi. Oh, dili naman, na itong mga tribo ni Levi, mo man to ang anging ihalag kay para mahimong pare. Ganong nag-perform ang si Joseph o Mary? Ang angay rang buhato ni Mary o ni Joseph na maghatag, maghalat sila o duha ka kuya po nga sa lampati o duha ka langgam nga kininginan na natuktok mo kay bilang man sila sa tribo ni Judah. Pero ganong gihimo mag nila? Simply because, my dear friends, Joseph and Mary ready to fulfill what God has 
said, what God has to be fulfilled. Kung sa'y gisugo sa ginoo. Ilag yung gituman ang sugo sa ginoo. Mga ginikanan, inaotunta nga sa inyong pagatiman sa inyong mga anak. Pangutan aning nyo, kanunay inyong mga anak, alang sa ilang paglambo silang kagalingon. Nga, kining inyong mga anak, hinaotunta nga magtamod sa mga pagtulunan nga gitudlo sa ginoo. Ang mga bata, bitaw na ito karun, mga warag wala na yung mga batasan. Mga tapulan. Ang buto, kabantay ba mo na? Because I was actually a college instructor. And this is what I've observed to my students. Sayon na kayong pagpangupya nila kaysa pagtuon. Paniya, muna yung akong ikabalakan. Eh ang itong mga anak karun, nagdako sa lawas. og sa edad apan walay buot ang ato mga bata karon nagkatapulan gumikan sa mga gadgets and the connections that we have in our house we have a connection so much a to the world only akong ikabalakan ang mga bata karon they really have the problem of how to survive how to sustain how to persevere in their dreams Because a simple problem, magkakireate na dahil nila og loneliness. Mga igsoon, sa kanuna yung ta, kita maningkamot, nga nga itong mga anak mahimong modelo. Dada sila kada Domingo, ayaw ibilin, no? Nimbat mga anak na tinuod nga bahandi, sama si Gimo ni Maria, ni Jesus, pinangga kay nila ilang mga anak. Saludo kay kus mga ginikanan, na niya din he, nga gidala ilang mga anak. Kana mga ngayon bitaw nang managtiayon pader gamay pa mangkay akong bata gud magkiat sa simbahan pasagdai nag magkiat ng bata sa simbahan ang importante nga dili lang maabot sila dari sa altar ang bata magkiat man gyuna kadugayan ana lisod pun magkadalaga magkiat nang gihapon no magkabuutan na pud dagway na oy so in the later on, uh, in the later process ilang pagani muna nay mutuktok nato ngayon ma manimba na ta kaya nga tong mga bata na anad sa kinabuhing pang ginoo. Nagkaanong ta natong time ang pang ginoo. Because this is one way that we can encounter the presence of the Lord. Just like Simeon and Anna. And Anna. Mga igsoon, inaot-unta ang pagpadaya nato ni Santos yung misa at ito kanunay pangayon ang presensya o ang panabang sa Diyos na kita makabaton o kasing-kasing na mga andoy na makaplagan nato ang ginoo diya sa mga tao na nasa itong palibot. Please all rise and let us recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, Consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now let us present our prayers to the Lord, and in every petition let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that the church may show to the world 
the true face of Christ, and be a sign of salvation to all. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those in authority may render selfless service to society, have the courage to speak, and act in the name of truth and justice, and bear witness the light of Christ. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that consecrated men and women through their faithful observance of the evangelical councils, may always become beacons of their light to their communities and to the church. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that expectant mothers whose hearts are troubled may receive helpful, loving support from their families, friends, and community. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. that all those who have gone before us may be welcomed in the company of the angels and the saints who eternally sing praise of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the petitions of your church, Lord, be pleasing in your sight so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world, as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth, rejoicing to encounter your salvation. And with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving it thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Martin, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may, bear, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise you and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Right. Uh, the Savior's command formed by the divine teaching with the air to say. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep safe for eternal life. I would like just to announce, during our communion, can you just give your hand? This is according to the mandate of the Catholic Bishops Conference. Thank you so much.
during the offertory is to provide for the needs of the church so that the parish has available has available to its those things which are necessary for divine worship for the apostolic and charitable work and for the worthy support of its ministers and for the remuneration of those receiving salary from the parish the second collection after the Holy Communion is to finish the Paris project, which is currently the Paris office and sonar the extension of the convent. Thank you very much for your generosity. Let us pray. But it's truly gifts we have received, received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as he fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ. So may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Michael the Archangel defend, defend us from battle. Be our protection, our protection against, against the wickedness, wickedness and snares of the devil. May God evoke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. May I request to those who are celebrating their birthday of this month of February to please come forward to receive the blessing. May I request those uh, persons who are celebrating their birthday this month of February to please come forward and receive the blessing. And those who are standing, please can you extend your hand and let us pray to our birthday celebrators. 
Let us pray, God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of your birthday celebrant of this month of birthday celebrants of this month of February. We recall the, their birth and rejoices in your gifts of life and love, family and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love that they may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's give a round of applause to those who are celebrators this month of February. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to Let's God. Give.